Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, Selinko, Outlast, Jensen, Brooksby's, Tennis String. Been getting a lot of attention lately. All right, guys, so a lot of people have kind of realize <laughs> who Jensen Brooksby is now, right? After his kind of epic first set with a Novak, which he ultimately um, lost in four sets, but he gave Novak a run for his money. And he actually had a really, really good year in 2021. So good that he actually resurrected a tennis string, his own tennis string. Now he's actually using Selenko Outlast. I actually remember this string from when Selenko kind of first launched over 10 years ago. Um, I got samples of this with barbed wire and some other stuff I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, but I was like, he uses Outlast? My buddy Norm was telling me, he's like, yeah, he kind of resurrected the string. And I'm like, damn, that thing's 10 years old. He's like, yep. But people, he's brought so much attention to this string that it's actually selling and doing well. So because I don't remember how this plays, I don't even think I ever opened the package when I got it 10 years ago and tried it. So now that Brooksby is bringing it to the forefront again, I'm going to put it on my own racket. I'm going to put it on Coach Goo's racket and Coach Chris's racket and see why Jensen likes it so much. Okay? So I'm going to bring you in a little bit here and show you the whole line of Outlast. So we got the 16 gauge Outlast, the 16L, the 17 and the 18. They also come in its own little hybrid here with Pro Stacked. That's right, Pro Stack was the other one that's like over 10 years old. It comes in a thinner main with a thicker Pro Stack or a thicker and thicker for more durability in the hybrid. So let me just quickly take a look at what's so. So it's a full poly, obviously. This is maximum durability and maximum playability. That's a big promise there. You know, it's like you're the most durable, but you're the most playable. That's kind of an oxymoron. But let's see um, if it comes to fruition when we play with it. So here, a newly developed, high-performance and well-rounded polyester string designed designed to provide maximum durability and all court playability. Utilizes an innovative high powered polyester mono monofilament fiber designed and shaped, shaped to provide exceptional durability and unparalleled playability. So durable yet playable. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the 18 gauge. Goo's gonna go with the 16. Um, Chris is going to go with, I'm not sure, 16L or 17, depending on if he feels energetic or not. Uh, I'll have to ask him, okay? So we'll give it a shot. We'll see you on the court. All right, so I got my man Coach Goo here. We got the Outlast Jensen Brooksby string, my man. Oh, well, yeah. Have you tested out now? man so you know Jensen did you know yeah. he played with this string no I have no idea um, do you know of this string no I have no idea so this string was out like I was telling you guys it's been out for 10 years at least it feels like 10 years mm -hmm. and it's one of Selenko's first polys that they came out with I like the color though 
Yeah, it's red, right? Chinese, good luck. Oh, my God. Man. <laughs> What'd you think of that, Coach? Um, overall, it feels like a durable string compared to most strings. I played with the Tour Bite. This is Solenko, by the way, right? Correct. Yeah. So this is like, this is not your Tour Bite. This is not your Confidential. This is, I don't know how you classify this. Like, if I had to compare it, I think this is Solenko's, like, 4G of Wilson. So basically, it's definitely durable. It feels like that. It plays like that. Um. The first day I played with it, it felt a little weird. It felt pretty stiff. But after I broke it in, like today, for example, it felt really smooth. Like It felt like I was playing like 4G. It definitely had the catch. It did, ha it did have the, the slingshot effect. It held on really nice, and it just fired off the bat. Um, but overall, yeah, I think it held pretty good tension for other Solenko strings. This is probably the most tension I've ever felt with the Solenko string. But overall, really cool experience to play with Jensen's string of choice. So it's a good chip. It's a good choice. I'm sure Jensen doesn't string it as tight as you. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Whose normal tension is 60, 60. So, and I'm guessing because this name is called Outlast, mm. it means it's going to outlast most other strings and outlast most other arms. Mm. So it's nice and durable. But the, the caveat is they say it's durable, but pretty playable oh, yeah it is pretty playable uh the first day yeah just you just got to break it in a little more than yeah. usual especially um, at 60. yeah thank you harry <laughs> <laughs> um but overall after the second day i just felt super comfortable with it it felt great it definitely held more tension than most tour like most strings like tour by confidential um definitely felt like it reminded me of 4g like it had the it had this tension that could hold for a while Felt nice, played nice, good feel by the way as well. I think this is, in my opinion, the best feeling string, like most really? feel okay. from from Outlast. I mean, I'm playing with 4G a little bit, so right. similar to that. Um, but yeah, really shocked with this string. I wish I used to play. I wish I had this string a while back in well, college days. It was around. Yeah, I just didn't know. Your I coach. had no idea. I blame your coach, man. Alright, you, you do that. I, I'm going to shut my mouth. <laughs> coach at Santa Clara. <laughs> All right. Um, I mean, it was a great, hey, it's a great color. That's true. It's a great color. Like I said, Chinese New Year coming up, so it's Valentine's Day. All right? Coach Gu. <laughs> Jesus. I want to thank you for uh, testing out the string with me. Of and course. testing out Brooksby's string. Um, yep. Gu, where can we find you? You can find me at agu.tennis. I'll also be posting content there as well. All right. All right, got Coach Chris here. Let's have him try Brooksby's string. Now at last. Coach Chris, this string called the Outlast that we have on your racket, Jensen Brooksby string, we put 60 nail on Chris's, one, two, five, okay? What'd you think of that? Uh, so I played with Outlast before, actually. Um, I played with Outlast, uh, tour by, normally that's the string that I kind of go to. Um, and comparing it to that, uh, I felt like this was a little bit stiffer. Um, it does take a little bit of time to like um, play through, so like break in, so the strings can break in a little bit. Um, the didn't have as quite as much of that kind of bite to the ball. I felt like the ball gliding a little bit over over the strings, but it's actually quite powerful. So definitely, when I wanted to hit through the shots, I felt like this string allowed me to do that. But um, I didn't quite feel that same bite as, as Torbite or any of the other ones, the rackets, uh, the other strings that have a little bit more spin. So, um, and then again, the biggest thing is that I do think that is definitely a stiffer string. So for those who have like um, tendonitis in their elbows or arms, I don't know if this would be the right one for you. Um, 
But yeah, that's what I thought. So I kind of agree with both, both Coach Gu and Coach Chris here. It is a little firm off the bat, even at 48 pounds. I sh we strung uh, Coach Chris's at 48 pounds. Like we strung mine at 48 pounds. And it, it the first hour, maybe in the two hours, it still felt pretty stiff. Um, after that, though, after that, it kind of broke in a bit and started kind of coming off the strings with a little bit more power. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it was hyper G after two hours, <laughs> but the first two hours was like tour bite strung at 60, <laughs> nice and hard. Yeah. Uh, even if it was at 48, um, I kind of understand um, why Brooksby is using this though. It, it's definitely a durable, s firm string for a little while. Um, it's pretty hard to break this string, actually. Yeah. Even my 18 gauge, yeah. um, about 10 hours into this, and it's not going to break um, anytime soon on 18 gauge. Um, Coach Chris is probably 10 hours into this, and it's probably not going to break. So we definitely get the durability part of the string. So it's kind of like a string that just won't break. Maybe that's why um, Jensen Brooksby likes it because, you know, it won't break. <laughs> Especially if you're on tour and you don't have a stringer or somebody like that, this will work for you. It actually, the stiffness of the strings hold tension. Uh, because it holds tension, it's playable. So it's it's kind of a an oxymoron, but it works, right? Right, Coach Chris? Yeah. All right, I want to thank my man, Coach Chris, here uh, for kind of testing out this with me. Where can we find you, Coach Chris? You can find me at CB Chan Tennis. And that's it. That's it. All right. So Coach Gu tried it. Coach Chris tried it. I tried it. That's our opinion about the... Solinko Outlast. Great durable string. Playability comes a little later, but um, probably really hard to break the string from what um, we're gathering. All right. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.